Just a slight hint of a smile there. Do you remember when he did that song, uh, what's the song Kiss that he did with the art of noise? I think I better dance now! That's great. There's a line in it where it goes, the original line when Prince sang it was, um, Women, not girls, they rule my world. It's women, not girls. And he started, he sang, Women and girls. And they said, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> it's, it's women, not girls. He said, I don't want to leave half of them out. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the river. Fantastic. True. Have you, um, have you actually talking about movies there with you? Have you ever had a chance of a film career? It's funny, I was mentioning this story to you. Uh. Is this true? Am I making this up? Can you remember that story I told you? Uh, did you? Was it a woman? Uh, oh, I better tell you. I can't remember <laughs> the story. Can <laughs> you? Uh, Sorry. Uh, tell you, Mum. I was, uh, I was in this, um, this. I was in a bar with my friend Max Beasley, mm -hmm. and um, and I'd been out all day, and I'd had a few jars, and this this really posh lady came up to me, and she said, uh, "Excuse me, um, which one of you is um, Robbie Williams?" And I'd been out all day. I didn't, you know, I'd had it all day, and I said, "Oh, it's him." <laughs> and uh, so she started, she said, we're, we're doing this film about um, um, some Scottish drug takers. I'm, well, I'm doing one of your impressions now. <laughs> we're doing this film about some Scottish drug takers and uh, we would be interested in <laughs> casting you for a part. Like that. Oh, and I said, oh, so that, I'm Robbie Williams, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy that. And uh, she said, um, why are you effing me about? <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, I said, I've, 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 I've been out all day and I've been getting this all day. Why would you be getting this all day? <laughs> and I said, well, I'm because I'm famous and that's what happens. <laughs> she says to me, she said, we don't want anybody that's touched on this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm actually one. I said, actually, I'm one of the nicest down to earth people you'll ever meet. <laughs> and I said, if you want me in this. Film, I'll talk to the organ grinder, not the monkey. Oh! <laughs> and what was the? <laughs> and what was the part? His it was part. one. No, I don't think it was his. I oh. think it was another one. But uh... I should imagine it wasn't mine. No, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, loves. <laughs> no. What again? I mean, the other thing too about you, which is interesting. Again, like like you, at sixteen, you took off, left home, and I mean, again, like you, and did you always know what you wanted to be? Um, no, not really. I wanted to be an actor. Started acting when I was eight. Do you? Yeah, I, did. I, st I still do, actually. And um, I did a lot of theatre stuff. And uh, basically, I mean, my mum wanted me to go to college and to university. And um, I didn't get any qualifications. And I knew that, you know, she was going to go mad at me. So I auditioned for everything that I could. <laughs> and one of these things was this group called Take That. And then off we went. It didn't just happen just like that, though, did it, with Take That? Um, no, it was about three years. What they, were you doing in those three years? I, mean, what I was like it? loads of gay clubs and stuff. We started off at gay, we did gay clubs for two years. Yeah. It was fantastic. <laughs> I didn't know that sort of thing happened. <laughs> what was it like, though? What was it like to stand in front of 20,000 people, or probably more? Because <laughs> I, I can't ask, but all actors want to be rock stars, and all rock stars would like to be actors, I think. Because sure. I'd love to know what that was like. Get the buzz. Yeah. Well, 25,000 yeah. people. Yeah. It's when, 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 he, when we, did, we did a gig in um, Chelmsford and it was like 40,000. And it was just too big. It's just too big. You don't, mm. you know, it's, there's that many people, there's no one there, you know. Right. And unfortunately at that gig as well, there was like 100 people at the front getting crushed. So we we're up sound so singing, a million love songs later. And there's people getting purple. <laughs> <laughs> Down in the pit, you know, which is not a good sight. <laughs> <laughs> what about the, what about the, the girls. I mean, what about that kind <laughs> of? Uh... <laughs> what about you know that kind of veneration? Is that damn <coughs> veneration? It's <laughs> puddles of damp. I mean, what? I mean, what's what, what's it like to stand there and have all those girls sort of lusting after you? It's all right. It's, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I just I just wish they'd listen now. <laughs> we, do, we used to do we used to do um, when we used to do like Wembley and and the NEC and stuff and, and we, we, you know. Um, we, used to, we used to be singing all... Uh, you couldn't hear anybody. You couldn't hear us actually sing. And it was great. Sang off key all the time. <laughs> and nobody knew. Yeah. Well, I think nobody knew. Did anybody find out? <laughs> could get away with anything, really. Because yes. it, it was just, you know, they couldn't hear us. Yes. And what about that thing that you talked about, though, the, the, the manipulation? I mean, I mean, how much were you controlled? How much were you not your own person? What was well, the worst aspect of that? Well, I was ha well, actually, I was happy enough going along with it for a time being because it was very easy. You know, you just you just turned up and 
like a robot and just went and did the thing and it was really easy. Um, but eventually you want to do something for yourself, you know. And, you, and I was very young when I got in, I was 15, and I really didn't know what I was getting myself into, as you do, you don't, when you're 15, do you? Um, but, yeah, I just had to leave and uh, to do something for myself, which I'm doing now. And I'm loving it, loving every minute of it. And in that, in that intervening time that you, you, you kind of talked about there and joked about, but, I mean, was it serious? I mean, did you get heavily into drugs and, and, and things like that, or was it just a, a sort of a... 12-month rebellion, basically, to get out of your system. Um, get mean, it in my system. Well, right. I mean, was there, was there a moment, in fact, where you had to sort of turn around and say, look, you know, I'm in trouble, I need help? Yeah, that, yeah that's what? when I went off to rehab, yeah. Um, basically, I, I, I couldn't... I didn't know how to stop drinking. I know it sounds really weird, but I, didn't, I didn't, just didn't know how to stop drinking for a time. And I couldn't do my work, you know, and I, and I wanted to be here now talking to you, singing angels, having it go double platinum, and it wasn't going to happen. If I looked the way I did and, you know, talked the way I did and presented myself in the fashion that I did, so I had to go away and get help, you know. And uh, fortunately, I did, and, uh, you know, here I am. And you had, you had therapy? Yeah, yeah, lots of therapy. You... Would you like to talk now? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember? Well done, well done, well done. <laughs> Rory's had therapy, haven't you, Rory? Yeah, it's bits, bits and pieces, I think, it's, uh, over the last two or three years. And it's funny, because th th sometimes they analyse everything. Like, you come in the door a different way and go, well, why did you open the door that way? Mm. And you look, I'm just in a hurry. No, but there's a reason for you being in a hurry. Yeah. Said, look, can we just have a conversation? <laughs> but the greatest thing that the, a, a guy ever said to me, is he said, um, he said basic, I said, well, I am a bit of a chameleon. And he said, well, you shouldn't be sitting on a patchwork quilt. And that was really... It's, it's absolutely trying to do everything yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Well, it's that, that, um, that joke about how many, how many psychiatri psychiatrists does it take to change a light bulb? How many? One. But the light bulb's got to want to change. I'm annoyed you touched his knee. I always wanted to do that. Go touch his knee. Can I just... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that, no. But the funny thing was... <laughs> No, that was... <laughs> I was so jealous that you took it. Would you like a message to your mum as well? You know? Oh, yeah, um... Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fans in grief, yeah. <laughs> OK, well, sadly, that's the, the end of our, of our show. I've... Oh. Uh, <sighs> you know, in, in all the years I've done a show, it's the first time when I said, this is the end of the show, they've gone, oh. <laughs> Normally say, thank God for that. <laughs> We're going to go on forever. But We're not going to let them go, though. No. We're going to carry on for a few hours. Well, I don't want to let you go, actually, because you've been very, very uh, splendid guests. I've really enjoyed talking to, to all of you tonight. And, thank uh, you. Robbie Williams, thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Robbie Williams. <laughs>